My name is Erica Yee, and October 15th of 2012 started out like any other school day, but by the end of the day, I had literally saved someone's life. While at band practice after school, our trumpet player, Chris Miller, suddenly collapsed. A group formed around him, and someone yelled, does anyone know CPR? Fortunately, I had just taken a chest compression only CPR class in Girl Scouts, so I stepped forward and began CPR until the paramedics arrived. I'm Chris Miller, the trumpet player. And thanks to Erica and her fast reaction, I'm still alive today. The paramedic said if nobody had stepped forward to give me CPR, I would have died that afternoon. So we thought it would be a great idea to put together a short video to demonstrate just how easy chest compression only CPR is, just in case one of your friends or loved ones ever needs it. This is Melissa, the woman who trained me in chest compression only CPR, and she's going to explain how simple and easy it is while I demonstrate. If somebody you know falls victim to sudden cardiac arrest or collapses, just remember the three C's. Check, call, compress. First, check to see if the person is responsive by shaking them by the shoulders and yelling, Are you alright? Are you alright? If you get no response, roll them onto their back and rub your knuckles along their breastbone. If there's still no response, point to someone and tell them to call 911. You, call 911. Then start chest compressions. First, put your hands together like this. Then, kneel over the person and position your hands in the center of the person's chest like this. Lock your elbows for strength and begin compressing the person's chest by about two inches a hundred times a minute. Coincidentally, the Bee Gees song, Staying Alive, has almost the exact number of beats per minute. So play that song in your head while compressing the person's chest. With chest compression only CPR, there's no need to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing or anything else until the paramedics arrive. But chest compressions are hard work. So if somebody is nearby, tell them to take over if you get tired. If you're alone, do the best you can and stop to rest if necessary. Keep the compressions going as much as possible until paramedics or first responders arrive. That's it. That's just how easy it is to save someone's life. So please, share this video with your friends and family. If Erica hadn't learned chest compression only CPR, I wouldn't be talking to you today. Chest compression only CPR works. So, so learn, learn it before, before you need it. it.